and going going live we're looking to go live with our peeps how is it going everybody am i coming in we're gonna find out here in a moment whether i'm live or not it looks like could be oh my gosh yes i am live <laughs> uh, yes we are live we are getting uh, picked up here and the viewers are coming in fantastic uh I'm always worried about the technical aspect of this show sometimes, you know, guys. Uh, those of you who are regulars of mine, you know that last week out of Calgary, we had a few iffy starts, but uh, back in Creston, everything seems to be working just fine. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Traveling with Bruce. This is Bruce here looking at the last of his hair, trying to kind of, you know, you know, there's a little Hollywood in me, you know, I try to kind of, you know, but, uh, it's a sad story. How are you guys doing? Uh, welcome to uh, August the 7th, Tuesday. August the 7th, 2018, for my uh, daily 5 o'clock Eastern Time show. Um, thanks for joining me. We love, we love talking about cruise ships, cruise ship vacations, going on a holiday, getting away, having some fun. We love talking about the new ships, the old ships, uh, the older ships that are getting refurbished to look like new ships. We love talking about going on uh, excursions, uh, different ports of call, comparing notes. Uh, we love talking about horror stories on cruise ships <laughs> we love talking about great cruises uh terrible cruises everything if you're new to cruising you've come to the right channel because you are surrounded by a whole bunch of folks that are addicted to cruising we are in between cruises here uh we can't wait to go on our next one um if you're a frequent cruiser you've come to the support group you need because here we'll help guide you through until you get ready for your next cruise it's well it's gonna be all right the cruise ships aren't going anywhere they'll still be waiting for you when you get back There'll be another cruise in your future. Don't you worry about it. So uh, welcome one, welcome all. I'm Bruce. I'm in Creston, British Columbia here in Canada, three miles north of the Idaho border. Uh, today in Creston, British Columbia, we will hit 92 degrees. That's warm for around here, but not unusual. We are surrounded by a beautiful uh, farmland here. Um, apart from the town itself, around my area, here's about 15,000 people, I suppose, that live in this area within about a half a mile, half an hour from where I am, I guess, a couple of miles around here. Uh, lots of farms, fruits, we have plums, peaches, grapes, uh, cherries, uh, and vegetables. It's just rich land and there's some good stuff being grown. It's good cash crop being uh, grown around here. Um, what else is I gonna tell you about uh, Creston Town? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, tomorrow, 103. <laughs> Thursday, 102, 103 again. Those are probably going to be likely our hottest two days of the year. Um, Saturday for the high, 79. Uh, <laughs> we got, there's something coming from the Pacific and uh, relief is in the offing, at least for the, let's say for the US, the upper Northwest and into Canada as well. So something's coming and it's going to drop temperatures a bit and we'll, We'll take it. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see what happens. Anyway, um, what else can I tell you about Creston Town? Uh, I was in Calgary last week, had a great time out there. Uh, I was cat sitting, looking up some pussy cats for my daughter, Jennifer and I, my invisible wife that you never see. Jennifer Aniston and I, look alike wife, we were there last week, had a good time. Back here, nice to be back here, had a great night's sleep finally. Oh my gosh. Uh, when I'm not home, I don't sleep as well as I'd like to, except on cruise ships. I seem to sleep pretty well on cruise ships. Uh, being at uh, sea level uh, and walking those decks and, and the promenade decks and getting into the steam rooms and, and, and the hot jacuzzis and getting all loosey goosey'd up, just, oh, getting rid of the stress, the strain. I get into my uh, cabin on a cruise ship uh, after eating unlimited quantities of food, <laughs> especially the dessert. Uh, for some reason, I sleep like a log. Uh, go figure. I just, you know, it's incredible. I love it. And uh, uh, next day, I wake up on a cruise ship. I peek out the curtain through the balcony door, see where are we now? What's my view like today? And oh, I love a cruise ship for that because every morning, different view. Whether you're in a port or whether you're at sea, it's a different view. It's an ocean front view, I'm telling you. And boy, you can't beat the deal. The pricing is the best. Uh, I think I'm talking to the converted, but those of you who are new, you should know that. Anyway, uh, it's all good. I'm glad you're all here. If you're here for the first time, uh, welcome to the channel. Say hi. Tell me, where are you located? What's your high temperature today? Let me know. 
We'll help compare notes with everybody else. Uh, sometimes we compare prices of gasoline. We always have fun with that. How much is a gallon of gas in your neighborhood? Here, buck forty Canadian for one liter of gas takes 3.7 liters to equal one U.S. gallon. So you multiply $1.40 times 3.7. It's kind of around, oh, it's like five bucks a gallon Canadian for an American gallon. So Americanize that and uh, 360, 370, maybe 380 a gallon uh, U.S. for a gallon here of your gas. Just so you know, by the way, we make the stuff. We have tons of it uh, and we pay higher prices than almost all Americans, except for my friends in California who tell me, and some of my friends in Hawaii who tell me they have Canadian style prices over there. The taxation issue is just the way it is. Anyway, there you go. Uh, what else was I going to say? Today's topic of the day, um, I was going to ask you guys to tell me about your dream cruise. What is a dream cruise for you? If you can go on any cruise anywhere in the world, any length, anywhere, any cruise line, any named ship, and more importantly, with whom could you go with? And then I thought, as I went on this topic, I didn't enter this today. I didn't type this in. But I was thinking about this going, well, tell, let me ask you a little more. Let, fess up a little more. Tell me a little more today. If you could go on a cruise, ocean liner, you name it, uh, today or going back in time, would there be a cruise you would like to have been on with someone that may not, may not be here anymore? Someone you'd love to be with for a uh, cruise that you know they were on. Uh, in my case, it's my parents. Uh, both uh, my father is gone, but my mom's still here. But boy, would I love to have been on the ship. Uh, in 1960, I'm going to say 1962 as an adult. I was on a ocean liner in 1962 as a seven-year-old boy. But oh, would I love to be a fly in the wall <laughs> as a grown-up. <laughs> And uh, meet my parents uh, on that cruise, an ocean-going cruise, coming from Germany back to Canada after my father served in the uh, Army. He was in the Canadian Army at the time with NATO forces, had been in Germany for three years on a tour with the family. And uh, we were sailing back to Canada at the end of the three years. And boy, would I would love to talk to those two adults about their previous three years. Uh, how did they, your last three years go for you guys? Um, them not knowing that I'm actually their grown up son. <laughs> That's something I would love to uh, to be able to uh, do if I had you know the flux capacitor and could work that one out. Um, boy, that would be an interesting cruise to kind of get their thoughts on uh, where their heads were at and what their you know what their plans were going forward. Would have been interesting. Anyway, I'll throw that one at you guys. Is there anyone that you would love to be on a cruise that would have been going back in time? Um, would that have been interesting? Maybe a grandparent of yours. Uh, maybe moms and dads. Um, a relative. Uh, who knows? Uh, uh, some of you might say, hey, I, I would like to have been on the Titanic and seen it for myself. I don't know if that would have been much of a fun thing. But uh, what, about, uh, what about that? Uh, some of your ancestors who come over from uh, the old country. Go back far enough. You never know. Wouldn't that have been something to uh, witness that or a piece of that uh, uh, in, in history? Anyway, there's a little food for thought for you. Get your minds going. Get your brains going. You have any questions about cruising, fire them at this guy. Uh, it's the only topic I'm bringing up today. Uh, my wife, Jennifer, said to me, your show today is like a Seinfeld. It's a show about nothing. You don't have any news on cruising that you don't want to share with you. If you want to share with your peeps, uh, I have no disasters to talk to you about today. There are no ships sinking out there. <laughs> Cruise ships seem to be doing just fine. Um, the so-called fall booking season, though, is starting to pick up, and I'm going to get into that in the next few days, next few weeks. Going to talk about uh, cruise deals that are coming up, uh, uh, cruising deals for the fall, the winter, next spring. Um, I did take a look today at vacationstogo.com, which is a booking site you can go to. Uh, it's no charge. I, I would love to be sponsored by these guys, but I'm not. So it's a free plug, vacationsgo.com. I took a look today at the Norwegian Joy cruise ship. I wanted to find out, since the Norwegian is moving the Norwegian Joy from China over to the U.S. for next uh, April, April 2019, after they refurbish it, 
they're going to uh, they're going to put the ship uh, into Alaska for uh, uh, for the summer season next year, like from April till next September, and then uh, from September October on, the ship will be based in Los Angeles, and it'll be running some cruises out of uh, L.A. to Mexico and back, and then some of the Panamanian cruises to Miami and back. There'll be some of that. I wanted to know if there were any deals on uh, Norwegian Joy, and I went on to vacationstogo.com. I took a look, and there really aren't any. There's a couple of a couple of one-week cruises to Alaska that look all right, but nothing cheap. Uh, not yet. Uh, so they're holding firm. They're they're putting on a brave face right now that the Norwegian Joy is going to go for top dollar, and there won't be any deals. I happen to feel the opposite. I have a gut feeling that the Norwegian Joy will have deals the closer we get to cruise time, uh, because. Um, Maybe the Alaska cruise season, they can hold on to some pretty good pricing. It's a new ship. They've uh, moved passengers over from, I believe it's the Norwegian Pearl, over to the Joy. They're taking the Norwegian Pearl out of Alaska next year. But uh, coming out of L.A., they're not replacing another ship there. That, that Norwegian Joy cruise ship is, the, uh, is going in empty, and it hasn't got passengers to get from any other Norwegian ships that they're pulling out of that region and they're going to have to book that thing right up. Uh, almost 4,800 passengers with uh, with uh, full occupancy. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the pricing kind of meanders along here as the months go by. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm kind of interested in your thoughts. What do you think about that? Will the Norwegian Joy become a cheaper cruise ship as we get closer to cruising dates uh, starting next year, April, into next fall? Or will it uh, will it be expensive because it's a new ship, sister ship to the Bliss? Can it hold high pricing? in its first year in operation. I did notice one last thing about the Joy. The Norwegian Joy only shows cruises for next uh, year only. Uh, Vacations to go has nothing past um, next winter. So you can't book the Joy out two or three years from now. There's, They don't have plans for it nailed down yet. It'll be interesting to see how Norwegian sort of plays this. They'll probably only want to show these cruises now, just book these cruises first. And as they build up their occupancy numbers, maybe then they'll release other sailings behind it. But I don't know where the ship is going to be based. Is it going to go back to Alaska for 2020? Is it going to be repositioned somewhere else? Uh, What about the winter of 2020? Where will it be then? Back to LA or will it go elsewhere? I know a lot of folks have been sending me comments saying, Bruce, send that ship to New York. It should sail in and out of New York. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, well, I, I, I don't have the uh, pull <laughs> to tell Norwegian what to do. So I'll just let you know what they say. We'll go from there. In the meantime, I'm going to say hi to my folks who are saying hi to me. Folks are popping in here all afternoon. I welcome each and every one of you to my channel. Uh, thanks again for all your support for picking up merchandise with Traveling with Bruce, TWB. This is St. Thomas. Where Robert Brandt hangs out. This is where Robert Brandt lives, people. He lives here. There's the Explorer of the Seas that I was on. This is a picture I took personally from the top of the cable car ride. This is on a T-shirt. And I have other merchandise here that I offer on my Redbubble store. If you ever get so inclined to want to pick up a Traveling with Bruce T-shirt or coffee mug, head on over there, and it helps support the channel. Thank you, all of you who have been going to Amazon.com through my affiliate link. You guys, some of you guys have been picking up merchandise on Amazon uh, using my affiliate link. I thank you very much. And also, uh, folks who have been making direct contributions to this channel, some of you do it through uh, uh, Super Chat, which happens during my live shows. But uh, the preferred uh, method, I, I always encourage anyone, if anyone wants to help support this channel, please do it through PayPal, through my donation link, which is on my homepage. There's a PayPal logo up there on my homepage. 94 to 96% of the pledges coming in there come right to my account, uh, whereas with Super Chat, we only get 70%. And so we love the PayPal donations. They are great. And today, Robert Brandt uh, did it again. Uh, thank you, Robert Brandt. And last night, uh, yesterday, during this live show, I missed it. Um, uh, Jim Thomas snuck one in there. Uh, he snuck in a donation to my channel on uh, PayPal. I didn't notice it while I was blabbering away about the channel. I noticed that after I got off the air, I saw, oh, my goodness, uh, Clifford Thomas did it again. Jim, thank you so much for your support of this channel. It's not the first time. I appreciate so much your uh, your uh, contributions to my cause. I thank all of you. 
uh, and uh, let's move on. Uh, 2,500, six subscribers is what we have now. We were at uh, 2,491 a few days ago, 2,506, 2,507 this morning, something like that. Thanks for all your best wishes on the 2,500 mark that we hit the other day. And I'm going to say hello to everybody. Robert Brandt signed in first, saying hi, Bruce, and everyone just left. Uh, it looks like Kinder Kinderjik uh, Netherlands. Uh, I'm trying to pronounce that correctly. He said it was 82 degrees in in the Netherlands right now. They're at 74 degrees on the river. Uh, he is on a river cruise on Viking uh, river cruises in Europe. Uh, joining us live, I love it. Adventures of David and Aaron are here. That is a YouTube channel. We have YouTubers here today. Adventures of David and Aaron. 104 degrees in the Coachella Valley, guys. Tell me where in the Coachella Valley do you live? What 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 town are you in? Uh, Palm Springs, um, uh, Rancho Mirage, uh, Palm Desert, uh, La Quinta. Where are you, uh, Indio? Let me know. I used to live in Palm Desert. I know the area well. Love it. Miss it. They're saying it's 104 degrees down there. Uh, that's a dry heat. Uh, it's all good. Uh, I loved it down there. Robert Brandt can't believe 104. Adventures of David and Aaron saying yes. We live in the desert. We love the desert life. Robert Brandt, I hope the humidity is low for you. They went on to say, yes, it is a quite low humidity, around 30%. Uh, they also said, unlike Florida, Texas, Louisiana, it, it, where they have 80 to 90%, uh, they don't have that in the desert. I do remember that. I love the uh, love the dry heat there. Uh, I know at 110, 115 degrees, it's uncomfortable. I don't care how dry it is, but boy, I'll tell you, I, uh, I love living in the desert. I miss it terribly. Um, Let's see here, adventures. So the best way I know how to describe our dry heat is staying in front of a pizza oven with the blowers on full force. <laughs> if you drive your car, if you drive your car in the desert, uh, it's 110 out, uh, you open the windows, it'll feel like 85, 90. But you stop the car at a red light, the, the sweat just starts coming off. You start driving again, the wind blows and those, everything evaporates. But you stop at a red light, it hits you. And if you get out of your car and walk into a McDonald's or to a Dairy Queen or a Burger King or a shopping mall, and you get inside that that dry uh, air conditioned air, you just turn into a, a just a sopping wet pool <laughs> until you can equate and your body relaxes and you're fine. But then you go back outside again and your glasses steam up. <laughs> it's so much fun. Love the desert. I can't uh, can't uh, tell you how much I love that there. Wes Morrison is here. Hey Wes. Hello, Cruise Junkies, 94 and a change of rain here in New Braunfels, Texas. Wes, I'm glad you get some rain. I know you need it, and it's under 100 at least, but uh, the humidity is up. Welcome back, sir. Good to have you. Robert Brandt, oh, I get it. I'm from where it's almost pretty humid in the Caribbean. Yeah, Robert knows in uh, St. Thomas it's uh, much more humid than in the desert, obviously. And Jordan is here from Brisbane, Australia. Good morning, Bruce, and all 23 Celsius in Brisbane, probably 75 degrees in Brisbane. He's got a coffee in hand to keep warm because it's winter in Brisbane, down to 75 degrees. Hang in there, Anne. Get a sweater on, and welcome back to my show. Those of you who don't know, Anne is sort of an unofficial greeter. She greets everybody that comes into the show. And Robert is saying, hi, Anne. Hannah is saying, Anne is saying, hey, Adventures of uh, uh, David and Aaron, how are you guys doing? And she's saying hi to everybody else. Uh, Adventures of uh, 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 David and Aaron, uh, anyone going on any cruises anytime soon? Uh, is there a question? And uh, same with this one here. Me too. I'm wondering about your dream cruises. Uh, Anne wants to know how the Viking cruise is going for Robert Brandt. Robert's saying, Anne, we had another great day and another great dinner. The food and service is the best I've ever had. Uh, but the negative so far is that the ship being so small, it lacks amenities. Well, this is the trade-off between a river cruise versus an ocean liner. Uh, but with a river a cruise, uh, you've got uh, stops uh, right on the uh, right on the side of the river. Uh, your view is fantastic, uh, but it's a relaxing, definitely a relaxing way to go. Um, it is not everyone's cup of tea, but oh my, it's first class service. Wes Morrison, David, and Aaron, I'm going on a Danube cruise with Viking in November. Wes is saying, Robert Brandt, we have our 16 year old twins, and they are fine off the ship. But once uh, they're back on, there really isn't much for them to do but read or watch movies. Uh, thankfully, they have internet provided on the uh, sh ship as part of the package, so the guys can probably, uh, you know, uh, amuse themselves with some uh, movies online or something. Um, I sent a special shout out here to Robert and Jim Thomas, and uh, thank you again for your donations. Uh, uh, Adventures of David and Aaron. It's something like uh, we're looking into a Viking cruise. Um, uh, hi, Bruce. Hey, guys. Uh, and Jordan. Uh, wow, Wes, that sounds amazing. Never been on a Viking River cruise. Robert, yes, we're on the Grand European Tour, but same ships, uh, 
they're virtually all the same. Uh, that's quite true. Uh, Robert is saying thank you, Bruce. So uh, you're welcome, Bruce. Thank you again, Robert. Uh, let's see here, Robert Brandt, uh, uh, <laughs> Wes Morris. He's saying, don't come on a diet. Uh, they really do the food thing well. Don't come here on a restrictive diet, man. The food is too good. You gotta, you gotta cheat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and Wes is saying, Brent, last May we did the Rhine from Basel to Amsterdam. He knows all too well how good the food is on Viking River cruises. I believe Wes has also been on Viking Ocean cruises, and he knows how good it is there, too. Um, Robert is saying, we're on the Amsterdam to Budapest uh, cruise here on the river, so fantastic. Peter Heckema, hi, Bruce, and all sunny and 93 degrees in Turpin Springs today. A short rain shower about an hour and a half ago. Uh, it all dried up like it never even happened. Uh, that's rainy season in Florida. It's like an hour and a half later. What? What rain are you talking about? It didn't rain. There's nothing here. Welcome, Peter Heckema. Welcome back. Wendy Thompson. Hi, Ann. Uh, Robert West, David Aaron. They started on our deck out back. Hi, everyone. Hi, Bruce. Uh, <laughs> say Venice and Sloppy Joe's for dinner. <laughs> uh, we did Amsterdam to Budapest on Viking. We love the food on board. There's another traveler who's been on a river cruise. Wendy knows. Wes Morrison uh, at Robert Brandt. Viking does an awesome job in feeding you. Uh, I just make sure to do a lot of walking. <laughs> yeah, do what you can. Uh, yep. Um, the course after course, but it's also for uh, Robert talking about the, how, how the food is coming at him. Uh, just one course after the other. Uh, and Robert says, yes, every day in port we wander around. Uh, then back for more food. Adventures of Dave and Aaron. Viking cruise sounds fun. Something different. Uh, and Jordan, uh, man, it sounds amazing. Robert Brandt, we've, we've been on, I uh, don't know how, any number anymore, how many number of cruises, but this is the first river cruise, and it's very, very nice. Uh, fantastic. Uh, Robert Brandt, we have twin 16-year-olds who will, in another year, will go off to college to study architecture. So they love the old town and all that is just, uh, and all around it. It's just the evenings, they don't have much uh, for anyone under 30 to do. Uh, that is an issue. So you gotta you gotta wear them out during the day the best you can, and hopefully they can chill out at night. Robert Brandt uh, Seaborn, we have found is similar um, uh, uh, to the name, mature. Okay, uh, Robert Brandt is saying at Dan Jordan Seaborn, we have found uh, is similar. Um, they're geared to the mature crowds and finer things. Yeah, Seaborn is six stars, very nice, much slower pace. You're not talking about a Royal Caribbean action packed cruise, nothing like that. Uh, Wendy Thompson is saying thumbs up to everybody. I'm saying cheers, everybody. Here's a uh, example of one of my logos traveling with Bruce. Cheers to everybody. Caffeine free diet, photo my favorite. Ah, there you go. Um, Paul Wilkes, hi, Bruce and all. 84, but feels like 95 here in Virginia. Paul, welcome back to my show again today. Robert Brandt, I don't think I'll make trivia tonight. That's 2 a.m. local time. Uh, yes, we have trivia tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern. I'm on twice today. I'm on now, and I'm on at 8 o'clock Eastern for trivia, live trivia tonight. I'm ready to roll. Um, Paul Wilgus uh, saying hi, everybody. Uh, Madison uh, DeMarco, I want to go on the Queen Mary. Ah, that would be a nice cruise. Uh, Madison, that would be pretty cool. I remember me, right? Madison, I do remember you. How are you? It's been a while. It's your back. Nice to have you here. Uh, Robert Brandt, uh, hello, Madison. MG Toe, Robert, are you enjoying your river cruise? Oh, I think he is, MG. Uh, and uh, Jordan, morning, Paul. Morning, Madison. Robert Brandt, MG Toe, it has some, uh, it has, uh, some huge pluses and a few minuses. That's true. Um, let's see uh, what Paul Wilgus, Howdy Ann, MG Toe uh, wants to know what the minuses are. Robert, not, not designed to have kids with you unless the kids are 30. Uh, well, little, little on board to do, basically. Uh, the ships are very small. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, older, MG's thinking it's for older folks. Robert Brandt, so, enter, so, enter, so entertainment is singers and music, et cetera. Not shows. Uh, I believe it. Yeah, you don't have a theater. Uh, and D&G Explorers, another YouTube channel is here today. Hello, Bruce and everyone. Last night in England, before we go back to the U.S., welcome, guys. I know it's the evening for you. Welcome to my channel. D&G uh, Explorers have their own YouTube channel. Uh, they help co collaborate a video with yours truly about two weeks ago. We had a lot of fun. The boys will be back in the U.S. in the next few days. Tom Henry, hi, everyone. 93 Fahrenheit in Richmond, Virginia. We're driving, so we'll be listening to the magic of Bluetooth on the radio. Welcome, Tom Henry. Uh, nice to have you by. Um, let's see your uh, MG Toe is thinking. Well, if you're not if you're not enjoying the uh, all of it, you might be better off with a land tour. Well, it all depends. You know, uh, these river cruises, uh, they they you know you move along and you come into some larger centers and you got a whole lot of things to see and do. You get that fantastic food. 
Uh, it all depends on just what you're, you know, what you're into, what you want to have. Uh, you know, what I, what I love about it, of course, if you're on a river cruise, you don't have to worry about trains. You don't have to worry about a rental car, parking, speed limits, other drivers. You can just relax and calm, calm yourself down. But for some folks, they can't do that. They can't, they can't turn off the switch and they just, you know, they need to be always on the move and always looking for action. And if you're going to the family, I get it. If you have a family situation, it, especially with younger children, river cruising may not work for you. I totally understand. Madison, I want to go to England. Uh, uh, that would be a cool cruise, Madison, for sure. Uh, Richard C., hello all, 93. Fahrenheit, humid in Philadelphia. Welcome back, Richard. Uh, he's saying hi to Ann and MG. Sea Keeper, hi, Bruce and all. He is here today, 94 in Tequisa, Florida. Warm but manageable. Thumbs up, everyone. 28 nights before I sail. Clothes are dry clean, sorted, and separated from the rest. I am ready to go. Yes, sir. He is plotting his escape. DNG Explorers, it's beautiful uh, in England, uh, Madison. You got to come over here. Robert Brandt, MG Toe, if we didn't have the boys with us, it would be perfect. There you go. That just honest assessment. Tracy Dunlop is here. Hi, Bruce and all 87 in Naples. Tracy, welcome back to the show. Welcome to the channel here. Tracy, one of my loyal supporters. Nice to have you here. Uh, stay cool. 87 is better than 99, but that's still up there, isn't it? Robert Brandt, it's just not geared to entertain younger ones. Robert, you're right. Um, let's see. How's the red tide, Robert wants to know. Uh, and Jordan, hey, D&G Explorers. Hey, Richard, and how are you guys doing? Wendy, I want to go to England, too, to Hampton Court. I've been to Hampton Court. I uh, did that in 99 with my daughter and my wife, uh, uh, Jennifer. My daughter at the time was, uh, was uh, 12 years old. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Twelve-year-old at uh, Hampton Court. Uh, perfect. Uh, without her, perfect uh, for my wife and I. We would have enjoyed it. We would have enjoyed it just the same. Fantastic day. Fully escorted tour. Highly recommend it. Uh, it really is cool stuff. Uh, you've got uh, these tour guides who know their stuff, and they tell you stories. They tell you. Uh, they try to kind of give you an idea of uh, this is what it was like then. This is what it would be like now. Um, and uh, one of the things that has remained with me through all the years, it's now been a 19 years since I was there, was we were walking through the Great Hall in Hampton Court. And the Great Hall is only the first of many halls you walk through to get anywhere near the King of England, in this case, King Henry VIII. And uh, the Great Hall had the high ceiling and had these marvelous tapestries hanging on the wall, one here, one here, another one here, another one here. We counted, I think, 12 or 16, something like that, massive tapestries. They had to have been 20 feet wide by 15 feet deep easily. And the tour guide said that uh, these tapestries took so many people and so much material and gold thread <laughs> and artisans that the cost of making one tapestry was equal to the cost of building a battleship. <laughs> so uh, if you were from another country uh, and you were coming over to visit the King of England for a little chat about a little dispute you might be having with the, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, kingdom of, uh, you know, King Henry's kingdom, uh, keep in mind that this guy had tapestries in one of the great halls uh, equal to 12 to 16 battleships hanging there. Uh, this guy had money left over after all the battleships he needed and all the cannons and all the swords and all the other equipment and the armies and the navies. And everything. Then he had extra cash to build Hampton Court and to deck it out with all kinds of neat stuff, including these tapestries that you see here, of which there are 12 to 16 or so, there's an armada uh, right there hanging on the walls just to kind of give you the impression, give you a little message how powerful this guy really is. And, uh, yeah, it was meant to impress uh, the home court advantage. Indeed it was. And you would go through different hallways and entryways and courtyards until finally you got anywhere near the opportunity to meet with the king uh, and you probably weren't the only one in the room. There were many, many, many others in there, uh, and you were one of many. Quite an interesting tour. Hampton Court, you get the chance. People, you got to do it. You ever get to London, England, you got to take a day, go to Hampton Court. That is a fantastic thing. Wendy, thank you for mentioning that today. 
brought back memories. Uh, Anne is saying hi. D&G saying hi. Madison, I want to go to the Queen Mary ship. Fantastic. She wants to go to Queen Mary. Robert Branch saying to me, uh, a true world cruise with just my wife. I'd love to do that. Man, that would be something. Madison, Bruce, I still have my mom, but lost my dad at 11. And uh, uh, Madison, you hang on to her. Take good care of that lady. And uh, life is good. Uh, Wendy Thompson, with hubby, uh, ship anything, uh, P&O around the British Isles, stop in Belfast. That would be a great uh, would be a great cruise for Wendy. Uh, Robert Brandt, oh, time travel. Yeah, time travel. P Peter Heckema, I think Tracy Dunlop asked me yesterday about the red tide in our area. I was unable to get back to her yesterday, uh, but uh, we do not have any red tide in our area, Peter Singh. Richard C., world cruise, no more than 120 days. Must leave from U.S. and end in the U.S. Uh, we are pricing or piecing our cruises together and will circumnavigate the world in bits. How about that? Robert Brandt, uh, traveling with Bruce, a show about nothing. Did Jerry just fine? He, he did all right. Uh, Tom Henry, how about the Titanic? I will tell them I am from the future to save them and prevent the sinking. Uh, Tom, no, no one will believe you. They'll, 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 they'll think you're cuckoo. <laughs> the one thing you want to be careful is, is not to be too outspoken. They might lock you up in the brig down below. <laughs> you're the first one to go. <laughs> Richard C. Uh, uh, at Ann Jordan, uh, my homemade bread did not rise. I used a different flour, did not work. Oh, my goodness. We have a disaster here, a cooking disaster on traveling with birds. Robert Brandt, I am not an ice person. Don't care to look at frozen water. Uh, I'm told it's beautiful, but uh, but so is the unfrozen tropics. So, Robert, uh, yeah, we'll take the warm water instead of doing a northern cruise. I'm with you. Uh, Wes Morrison, I heard that the uh, Carnival Vista will be locating to Galveston. It will replace the Triumph. Yes, uh, the Triumph, of course, is going in for uh, uh, to, to Cadiz uh, for a, a major $200 million dry dock. Then will be renamed Sunrise, and then Triumph will eventually work out of Norfolk and then eventually down out of Florida. Uh, yep, <clears throat> that's right. Vista's going in. One's going out. The so-called musical chairs of cruise ships continues, Wes. Seakeeper, I, I was nine when my uncle took me to La Havre from New York on the SS France. Uh, we stayed three weeks in Normandy and Brittany and sailed back to New York. I miss my uncle, and I wish France were still around. Uh, wouldn't that have been, uh, that had to have been an unbelievable experience, uh, both directions, uh, to be able to um, take that kind of time in those days, uh, probably six days over, something like that, three weeks there, and then six days back. Wow, what a, what a vacation overall for the adult and the nine-year-old man, Seakeeper. Awesome. Just, just incredible. Uh, Debbie Manuel. Hi, everyone. Work is really in the way of my traveling with Bruce time. <laughs> About 95 again and smoke and haze and Chico today. Re Debbie, you know, um, I don't know if it's me or your job, but something you, you got to talk to your boss. Uh, you need like a break, uh, you know, uh, you know, or sh you should become the overall boss and then you can run the show. Uh, you know, maybe that might work. But Debbie, I welcome you back to my show one of my most loyal followers and uh, frequent contributors. Thank you, Debbie, so much for being here and sneaking me in. I love it. Uh, and Jordan, uh, Richard C., that uh, that not good, always uh, use self-rising flour. Okay, we've got advice going here on how to bake. Thank you, Ann. Robert Brandt, maybe a trip on the Trump Princess. All that gold. I think overdone gold is a sign of saying I'm rich. Where, where did that yacht go? Uh, yeah, whatever happened to Trump's boat? Debbie Manuel, hi Ann and Thomas, Robert Brandt at Traveling with Bruce, your t-shirt, my my office is on your lower right. Oh, so his office is, is right down here somewhere. Now, I don't know if he means down here or if he means down there, but you know, he there this is his turf. This is awesome stuff. Wendy, uh Wendy's saying hi, Debbie. Uh John B. Swedish American line again. The last time was in 1969. Uh, on um, Grip's home and uh, Kug's home with any of my family members. Of course, they are no more. Wouldn't that, have, wouldn't that be great to be able to do that again? Uh, wow, 1969. Wow, John B., that brings it back. And Jordan, hey, Debbie and Thomas, Henry, how are you? Don, Donnell, um, uh, hi, Bruce. My first time here on a live show. I'm new to cruising. I, near, I live near Cork Harbor, South Ireland. I love seeing the massive ships. Example, Royal Caribbean and Princess, et cetera, that call in there. Donnell, welcome to the show. 
Welcome to tonight today's broadcast. I'm glad you're here. I know it's later for you than for, for most, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, it, by the way, I have a I have a Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce. And if you get any great photos of any of those ships uh, in your area, welcome you to join my uh, Traveling with Bruce group page on Facebook and throw up some photos there for the gang to see. Because these guys here that you see talking, that you hear me talking about, they all, practically all of them, are on the uh, group page at Traveling with Bruce between shows. And we've got pictures of cruise ships and holidays and all kinds of stuff. And I welcome you to join us there, too. So fantastic. Glad you're here, buddy. This is fabulous. Another newbie has joined us. Nina Frank, I just want to say hi to everyone and hope you're all fine. Cooling down a bit here now in Sweden. Thank goodness for that, Nina. I know you've had a hot streak there. I hope that uh, you get a bit of a break from that crazy weather over there. Uh, let's see. And Jordan saying hello to you, Nina. Wendy Thompson, welcome, Donnell. My family left Armag, uh, Armag uh, many years ago. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm winging it. I'm probably doing it wrong as usual uh dng explorers welcome uh, donnell um bruce's live shows are fun and you learn a lot about cruising and jordan's welcoming donnell as well dng explorers uh welcoming high adventures uh of david and aaron uh donnell uh dng explorers hi and thanks for the welcome i'm enjoying the show and love hearing people talk about cruising this is what we do six days a week monday to friday at five o'clock saturdays at two all eastern time and I've got trivia tonight at 8, if you can stay up that long. If you have trouble sleeping, join my trivia show. You'll be asleep in 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> and Jordan, have a safe flight, DNG Explorers. Hope all is well. DNG, thanks. And today was funeral. Emotional, but great to see family fly back tomorrow. Well, welcome back home, guys, when you get back. Uh, Donnell, hi to you, too. And Jordan, hope you're well. And thanks for the welcome. Are you a veteran cruiser? Uh, DNG, don't forget to show Bruce some love and hit the like button. Give him a thumbs up. And Jordan, hey, uh, Debbie, stay, uh, hope uh, hope all is well uh, with you. Tracy Dunlop, hi, Robert Brandt. Uh, too bad there's not much for the kids to do on board, but sounds like you're in a port every day, so lots to see during the daytime. MG2, I was talking to Carnival earlier. Uh, the panorama is coming directly to Long Beach uh, as a working cruise with no passengers. Yeah, interesting, isn't it, MG? They're bringing it right over there. As soon as they get it, they're bringing it right over there and put it into work out of Long Beach for the Mexican cruises. And Jordan uh, Donnell, yes, I have done quite a few cruises. My next cruise is in 126 days on the uh, uh, Royal Caribbean um, uh, Ovation of the Seas. Uh, looking forward to it. That should be a great cruise. Uh, Lenny. Um, let's see here. We got, uh, Len Lenny pictures here. Uh, uh, good, good AM. Good morning from, uh, Australia. OZ dream cruise is Cunard Queen Mary. That should be a lovely cruise. You get the chance to get on that one. Lenny, welcome to the show. If you're brand new, if you've been here before, welcome back. Fantastic. Robert Brandt, uh, Tracy, uh, we just haven't, uh, we just weren't leaving those two home. Uh, <laughs> laughing out loud. Long story. We're not leaving them alone. We're not leaving them back there. On, on out. No, they're coming with us. Yeah, yeah. They're they're, stick, they're staying close to mom and dad. Uh, yeah, I get you, Robert. I read between the lines there. I get it all. I get it all. Jim Thomas, afternoon, everybody. Hundred and two in Anderson, California. Jim Thomas, welcome to the show. Jim Thomas, thank you for your uh, donation yesterday to my channel. You snuck it in while I was on the air. I missed it. I didn't see you do that until after I got off the air. I noticed that you had snuck one in there. Thank you so much for another donation not the first time you've done that thank you so much you helped keep me on the air and jordan thumbs ups and jordan hey jim thomas how are you hopefully you're safe because jim thomas is too close to those darn fires in california which are now the state's largest on record i hope you're safe and sound over there my friend dng explorers dream cruise alaska cruise on the disney wonder past cruise go back on the premier cruise line ship the atlantic that went out in 1993 it was so long ago i don't remember it anymore laughing out loud yeah gotta gotta wonder ain't eh? uh tracy at robert brandt uh, red tide they seem to be cleaning the beach daily worse in north naples and up to fort myers interesting donnell uh, at wendy thompson hey how are you hope you managed to see your distant relations from time to time have you been on many cruises gaylene davidson hi bruce 34 in summerland that's getting warm here in bc i'm warm here too gaylene robert brent i like seeing these new names in here yes robert we are attracting new 
viewers um, from time to time, and I am thrilled that we're getting new viewers all the time. Wonderful. Welcome you all. Uh, let's see here. Tracy is saying, uh, Red Tide, so bad for the sea life. Many sea turtles, lots of fish, it's sad. Climate change is real. Uh, even though red tide is normal at times, warm water temp makes it worse and ocean contamination. Isn't that something? Seakeeper at uh, Tom Henry, uh, did you proof your yeast? Darned dead yeast. I never buy much at one time. This, this, see, we've got, we've got the cruise show. Then we've got baking advice. And then we have, you know, we do it all. We, we've we talked about stuff. Some of you folks, uh, newbies, you can't believe it. Uh, we've talked about multi-headed shower heads on cruise ships and four big guys trying to use it at the same time. That's a whole other nightmare. We've been down that road. We, we have to move on. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Debbie saying hi, Wendy, and good morning, Gaylene. Robert Brandt at Tracy. Do you know anyone who has one of the little houses on Kiwain, Ki, Kiwain Island? Kind of curious. Wendy uh, Donnell, between Hubby's Thompson's side, between Hubby's Thompson's side and my Connolly side, we could make a week of being in, in Armand. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that would be something. Tracy Dunlop. Oh, I wouldn't be leaving two 16-year-olds at home alone. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and Robert, uh, nephews always stay with us when parents are out, especially for as long as you're going to be gone. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, they're with you all the way, Robert, for sure. And Jordan at D&G Explorers. Uh, that sounds amazing. Any Alaskan cruises on my bucket list. Gaylene Davidson. Good afternoon, and Jordan Donnell. Um, hi, Bruce. Thanks for the warm welcome. Yep, it's uh, it's ten thirty-five here. I I have photos of some massive ships, so I'll try to post some on your Facebook page. Loving the show, uh, Donnell. You might have to ask to join the page. Just 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 ask. I'll immediately let you in there. Love to have you as a new member, and by all means, please do so. If you know anyone anyone else in Ireland that would love this talk show. Talk to your friends uh, on Facebook. Tell them, hey, get your butts over to Traveling with Bruce and check out the live show. We have a lot of fun here. It's, it's a good time. Thank you again for joining today. Uh, Robert Brent and Tracy Dunlop, that's just it. We have a house that sort of invites a party and lots of booze. Yeah, you, you kind of got those one of those places. It's endemic. You got to be careful. Yeah, don't leave those kids at home. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, uh, Donnell, 13 cruises so far. It was uh, was one for us to have time together uh, with work at home. Um, Kathleen, hello, everyone from Nashville. Kathleen, how are you? Kathleen is a regular uh, watcher of mine, and Kathleen is always uh, saying hi to me, giving me thumbs ups on my Facebook group page, Traveling with Bruce. Kathleen, welcome back from Nashville. Nice to have you here today. Robert Brandt at Traveling with Bruce. They are wonderful boys 90% of the time. But the damage that they could get into. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hear you. Uh, Kathleen, love Nashville. Robert loves Nashville, too, Kathleen. You've got company there. Bur uh, Bonnie is here. Bonnie Berkstein. Hi, Bruce and friends. Bonnie, how are you? Bonnie is a frequent watcher of the show and on Facebook. Welcome, Bonnie, to the channel today. Glad to have you here, too. Tracy Dunlop, no don't uh, no don't know anyone who has a house on uh, Key, uh, Keywandan, but lots of people on weekends on the other side of the island have food and drink boats you don't find your boys on weekends they'll be there <laughs> robert brent we talk about biscuits all the time i know robert we do we talk about this biscuits and uh, oh we get into trouble bonnie how close is creston to vancouver uh, bonnie um i could drive to vancouver on a long, long drive in one day. Um, if I got in the car at 6 a.m., I'd be in Vancouver, but on four in the afternoon, I guess, uh, maybe six at night, depending on traffic, and depending on the season. Uh, obviously, summer is heavy driving because it's tourist season. Winter, it's uh, educational and entertaining because of the winter. Uh, but um, it's about, uh, what, four or 500 miles, I suppose. Uh, so it's a, it's a full day, um, but it's, it's over there. We get more folks coming here from Alberta than from Vancouver, because between us and Vancouver, you have a whole lot of areas to you know hang out at and people can enjoy. I just saw Peter Heckema make a donation to my channel. I caught that one. Thank you, Peter Heckema. I saw that. Thanks again <laughs> for your contribution. Every once in a while, I 
catch one. Sometimes I miss them and they just, I don't know until the next day. Thanks, Peter. Um, so that's how far we are to Vancouver, Bonnie. Robert Brandt at Tracy Dunlop. They seem like a, a fun place for a little getaway and you are 100% right. If, uh, if out of the boat were missing in, in Naples, I'd likely find them in Kiwan. Yeah, that's where they're going to be hanging out. And Jordan, uh, morning, uh, Kathleen. Morning, Bonnie. How are you all? Bonnie, Tracy Dunlop, we have the blue-green LJ near my part of Florida, East Coast. <clears throat> um, Robert Brad saying, I need to get to Canada. Uh, Bob O is here. Hey, Bruce and all. 94 and a bit muggy here in Alabama today. Welcome, Bob O. Go Tide. Uh, nice to have you back. Robert Brandt, only been to Montreal and Toronto. That's the East. Uh, you haven't been to the other part of the country. Oh, my gosh, the West. Bob O. Hey, Bruce. Uh, uh, they're doing good. Wendy Thompson, uh, cake, pie, and biscuits cruise. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I hear you there. Uh, oh, my goodness, Bonnie. I have a friend in uh, Nanaimo Island. And uh, Kathleen uh, Krieger saying hello. And Bonnie just sent me a super chat for $9.99 on uh, on Facebook. Uh, on YouTube. Thank you very much, Bonnie, for that. Uh, totally on, on call for, but thank you. Uh, I need the money. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, Robert Duarte, hello all. Look to book in April. Second week out of New York is what Norman is thinking about doing. Second week, uh, in, in, second week out of New York in April. Watch for those storms, uh, Norman. I tell you, uh, sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes you're better off, if you can, uh, flying down to Miami or Fort Lauderdale and getting a cruise out of there for as little money or less. Um, but then again, if you can get a deal and hopefully the weather cooperates, because in April, it can still be dicey. Second week of April, though, I mean, geez, you know, second week of April, you should be through most of the storms. It's just a matter of whether it's a winter storm or a spring storm, I guess. Uh, watch for those uh, those conditions. But Norman, welcome to the show today. Nice to have you here. Uh, Bonnie saying, I love Vancouver, Victoria. Oh, my. Uh, Bonnie, uh, yeah. Uh, downtown Vancouver, uh, uh, Stanley Park. Oh, my God. What a place. Unbelievable. Uh, those of you who have never been to Vancouver in British Columbia or Victoria, uh, you have no idea. Uh, you think Toronto is interesting and Montreal is interesting and, and the Maritimes in Canada? It is. It's beautiful. Great. Get your butts over this side. Check this place out. Oh, my gosh. Uh, summertime in Victoria, Vancouver. Uh, wow. Um, don't go in the winter. <laughs> Not November, December, January, or February. Don't do it. Uh, don't bother. Uh, but uh, head over there in the summer. Oh, my. Pretty spectacular views. Incredible. Tracy Dunlop at uh, Bonnie. Uh, lots of that algae north of us in the canals. Most due to uh, lake O water releases. Mm, interesting. Uh, Bonnie at uh, Tracy Dunlop, so sad. And those Lake O releases destroying the ecosystem, she says. Don Jordan is here. Don, greetings from a smoky Central Valley in California. Uh, temperature 91, heading to 97. Don Jordan, welcome to the show. I don't know if you've been here before, but if you're new, welcome to the show as a newbie. Glad you're here. Uh, 91, that's getting up there. 97, it's getting too hot. Uh, stay safe, my friend, and uh, stay indoors. Don't let the smoke get you. I'm glad you're here, and uh, hopefully you're safe and sound. Uh, Seakeeper, I noticed we added pies to cake and biscuit crews. I can live with that. <laughs> I mean, you know, we love biscuits. I mean, there's some of us who were one biscuit short of some serious weight issues, but now we're adding the cake and the pie. Uh, this is putting us over the top. Uh, there's no there's no getting around it. You can't help us. We're addicted to something. Uh, cruising and pies and biscuits and cake. Don't forget the ice cream. Oh, God, don't forget the ice cream. Uh, okay, Don L. Wendy Thompson. Wow, 13 cruises. I must get my skates on. I'm a late starter. Hello, everybody. Don L. It's never too late to start cruising. Uh, you get on your first cruise, and I can tell you right now, by the time you're getting off that ship, your brain is going. How do I get another one? Where, where, when's the next one? Let's start booking. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, for sure. Bonnie, going to be in Vancouver next May for a cruise. And staying an extra three days to do touristy stuff. Well done, Bonnie. Uh, there are so many people guilty of getting in there and getting out of there. Don't do that. Uh, you get to Vancouver, hang around a while, and check that place out. It is spectacular. There's so much to see and do there. you got to get to Capilano and walk that suspension bridge. But you might want to do it first thing in the morning because it gets busy during the day. There's so much to do. Uh, you can YouTube Vancouver and see what to do there. Oh, my God. The food, the food, my goodness, the food. So nice. Uh, glad you're here, Bonnie. Wendy Thompson, we started in 1991. That's when we started cruising. Gaylene Davidson, trying to group 
trying group cruise in the Caribbean 11 days in January, looking at other group crews, maybe Mediterranean. Right on, Gaylene. That should be fun. Robert Brandt, add booze too. That's right. You got the biscuits, you got the pie, you got the cake, you got the ice cream. And then with Robert Brandt, you add the booze. Uh, we got a cruise here. We got we got it all. We're all good to go now. Bonnie, 90 plus in Lake Worth, uh, Florida for six months out of the year. Getting that's hot, Bonnie. And the humidity. Robert Brandt, seven kids, three grandkids to feed. Uh, <laughs> Robert. You did it. You did it, Robert. I, I, you did it. Oh, my goodness. Sharon at sea. Hi, Bruce. 114 here in Arizona. Sharon at sea. Another YouTube channel is here today. That's our third channel that have joined me today. Welcome, Sharon at sea. Another collaborator on that video we did a couple of weeks ago. Nice to have you here, Sharon. I hope you're staying indoors. I hope you're staying hydrated. Uh, keep cool and stay safe. Thank you for joining us uh, on the show. A whole bunch of folks are here today. And Jordan, welcome, Don. Jordan, uh, a seakeeper, uh, was trying to say something. And uh, Jordan, uh, oh, Alcoholics Anonymous, that's what he's doing. <laughs> uh, and Jordan, welcome, Bob. Oh, Bonnie, I've got over 30 cruises under my belt. 30. This is fantastic. Uh, Bob, oh, thanks, Ann. Bonnie is saying visited Vancouver in 1998, but didn't make it to uh, the Buchart Gardens in Victoria. Oh, man, you got to get that in. Bonnie, you've got so much to see. Oh, you've got work to do. You're going to have fun. So much fun. Uh, Seakeeper, anyone ever try Nanaimo bars? They are good uh, tasting uh, good treats, the Nanaimo bars. Mm, love those. And Jordan, Bonnie, this cruise coming up will be my 17th cruise. Right on. Robert Brandt, traveling with Bruce. My wife was there, too. My wife was there too. Uh, this is on a message from before, and I'm not sure what he's referring to, uh, but he was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, seven kids and three grandkids. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Robert, you did it, and she did it, and you did it together. And uh, yeah, look at that. Just, you know, one thing leads to another and led to another. And now we got seven kids and three grandkids. Oh, my Robert, there. Yeah, this is a common tale. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, Bonnie and Jordan, I'm so excited for you. Uh, Richard C., I love Sharon at Sea uh, Tube Show. Uh, Debbie Manuel, hi, Sharon at Sea. Uh, everyone saying hi to Sharon at Sea. This is great. Bob O., did an Alaska cruise out of Vancouver in 1983. Love the city. The ship, eh, not so much. The cost of Daph Daphne, what a beaut. Uh, well, uh, the city in 83 was a little different than it is now. I'll tell you that, but it's been beautiful over the years. For sure. Reggie and her man. They are here today. 90s in New York today. Hello, everybody. Hey, Reggie and her man. Welcome back to the show. Another uh, another uh, repeat offender. They're all here today. Fantastic. Glad you guys are all here today. Gaylene Davis and Nanaimo Bars. Too much sugar. <laughs> Sharon at Sea saying hi, everyone. Thanks, Richard. Reggie and her man. Hi, Sharon at Sea. Bonnie Bernstein. Bruce, I can't wait. I, I can't wait. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, you took the words out of my mouth, Bruce. Uh, you and the wife did it, Robert Brandt, laughing out loud. You did it. You did it. Uh, you see, there you go. Robert Brandt, 31 years. I wouldn't trade for anything as much as I've seen uh, uh, seen to complain. It's all good, and I bet you it is. <laughs> it just gets better and better. Fantastic, guys. Bonnie, uh, Bob, oh, I did my first Alaska cruise in 1990. Return from Vancouver. Round trip from Vancouver. 1990 fantastic my first uh, cruise ever on a ocean liner 1959 went from canada to germany i don't know the name of the ship but uh, it might be somewhere deep in my uh, records i don't know but uh, coming back 1962 came back and uh the homerick the homerick ss homerick operated by home lines 700 and about uh I think it was 750 feet long, uh, 1,500 passengers, uh, cruise line, and I remember the food. I remember the food, how well we were looked after. I was six or seven years of age, and, uh, man, I'll tell you, I remember dinners. Uh, boy, the food was so good. I remember the waiter uh, or the, you know, the, the assistant to the waiter. I mean, there were several, you know, how, how it was organized in those days. You had the captain and you had the waiters and you had the assistant waiters, the bus boys. We'd sit down and I remember they would come with those uh, big, oh, I guess, uh, you, you think they were silver plated, but they're probably nickel plated buckets and they would have the ice water and they would pour ice water in goblets. They put those on the tables. Then they would bring the buns, the dinner rolls, 
they would bring these dinner rolls that were baked on board cruise ships. Even today, they still bake them on cruise ships. They put these dinner rolls in the middle of the table and they would bring the butter. And I remember the butter was uh, sort of a shaved kind of a butter, like in, either in little balls or just shavings of butter. And that would be mixed in with ice in these, uh, again, these little silver looking trays. And there would be water in there as the ice would melt. And that would keep the butter from melting too quickly. And you would, you would get, uh, you know, the, uh, my, my parents would, would break open the bun for me. And they would, my mom would then take the butter and smear butter on both halves of the bun. And I'd be sitting there chewing on this freshly baked bun on an ocean liner. At age six, you could smell the smell of that uh, of that uh, freshly baked piece of magic in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean as you're heading to Canada. Uh, stuck with me through all these years, and whenever I went to a, 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 a any kind of a restaurant that would have a basket of buns that they would offer you, you know that most of the time the uh, the restaurant you were attending. The buns were bought from a baker down the road. They didn't make them. Uh, so they weren't fresh, fresh. But occasionally you would go to a restaurant where they would be fresh. And you'd smell that uh, that fresh baked uh, uh, odor coming off of these buns. Oh, man, that would take me right back to 1962. Coming across the Atlantic Ocean on the homework. Absolutely fabulous. And then, of course, so when I started cruising with my wife, Jennifer, we started cruising in 19, uh, uh, in, uh, sorry, 2008. We started with the Oosterdam Hall in America. We'd be in the main dining room for dinner every night, and uh, the waiter would bring in the basket of buns and the butter. And, oh, man, that would take me back. Oh, I loved it. Hooked again. And uh, can't get me off of that, uh, that track. I'll tell you, I love that. It's amazing what... Uh, what memories come back to you uh, from way back when? Incredible. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Robert Brandt, Travis Bruce. Our next port is Cologne, Germany. Been there? Question mark. Anything must see, folks. Anyone been to Cologne, Germany? For uh, Robert Brandt, what should he check out tomorrow? I cannot imagine. You will. He <laughs> will not have any problem <laughs> being wowed with what you're about to be uh, confronted with. So many of the ruins after the war were rebuilt, especially the cathedrals. This is going to be a fantastic stop. You'll be taking photos. I'm looking forward to seeing photos on Traveling with Bruce webpage on the group cruise, uh, the group page for Facebook from Robert Brandt. I'm looking forward to seeing photos there. Bonnie Bergstein saying, wow, Bruce, I thought my SS Norway was an old cruise. <laughs> and Jordan, morning, uh, Reggie and her man, wowzers, so hot in New York City. Wendy Thompson, of course, we remember the meals, the baked Alaska lines at the end of the meal. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh, man, the food on board cruises. Robert Brandt at Tracy Dunlop. I married the right one. And I know how lucky I got. Not too many can uh, put up with me. Uh, you know, those of us who've been married a while, uh, we all know we married up. We, we, we moved up the ladder. We, we didn't marry down. We moved up. Married up for sure. Uh, Debbie Manuel, thumbs up. 45 watching now. Awesome stuff. Uh, Robert Brandt, more, 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 and Jordan, thumbs ups. Bonnie Bergstein, I think Princess still bakes their dinner rolls fresh every night. Uh, yes, uh, Bonnie, they do. They all do. Uh, cruise lines cannot bring on board bread, buns, uh, cakes, pie. It's, it would take up too much room. The, the number of pallets they would have to bring in with all that, they couldn't handle it. So they bring in the the, the basics. They bring in the flour, the sugar. The butter, the yeast, all the fillings, they make it all on board. And uh, on the, uh, I believe I read, I read on the, uh, on the uh, uh, Harmony of the Seas and the Symphony of the Seas, Oasis, all those Oasis class ships, they have bun baking machines that crank 4,000 dinner rolls an hour, 4,000 buns an hour coming out of these machines. Because to hand make them, you can't do it. You, you cannot produce enough buns for 6,000 passengers for lunch and dinner. Every, you have to have it mechanical. It's, it's just unbelievable. But then you've got, you've got the technician supervising it and quality controlling it. It's unbelievable. I love it. Just love it. Uh, the logistics of making food at sea I, I just astound me. It just astounds me every time I think about it. Dan Jordan, I remember my first cruise on Norwegian to the Caribbean. The big event then was the Midnight Buffet. 
with great looking ice carvings. Believe it or not, uh, the cruise was all inclusive back then. I believe it, uh, Don, it was. My parents took an all inclusive uh, cruise to the Caribbean in the 80s. This is well after they uh, they had been back to Canada. My father uh, was uh, was in the music business. My mother was in the uh, textile business, and uh, they uh, they were able to get on a cruise, Caribbean cruise, all inclusive, and they brought back photos of the midnight buffet. They took pictures of this incredible display, and would tell the children all about it because we couldn't go. <laughs> no way. <laughs> But, you know, the math was unbelievable. A, uh, a seven-day, all-inclusive Caribbean cruise in the early 80s, $2,000 in those dollars. Uh, you know that a, uh, I had a, uh, I owned a 1986 uh, Camaro that cost um, new about 6500 bucks. <laughs> That's a, a third of a Camaro to take a cruise each uh, so you take two people, that's two-thirds of a Camaro on a cruise. Unthinkable today. Uh, what's a Camaro going to go for today? $45,000? Uh, would you pay $30,000 for two people? A one-week all-inclusive cruise in the Caribbean? That's what my parents paid. Equivalency. Unbelievable. The standard of living is, has either calmed down, come down, or the price of a cruise has come down. And I think it's the latter uh, along with the former. The price of a cruise today compared to what a cruise was 25 years ago, 30 years ago, what a difference. Uh, it was so much cheaper. We can get away with a cruise on a balcony, all in, taxes, fees, drink package, you know, two grand a, a person, maybe 1500 a person today uh, versus 2000 2500 a person in 82, 83. Wow. Uh, so much cheaper now than then. Isn't that amazing? That is a great story. Thank you, Don. Uh, Wendy uh, Thompson, pub tour in Colm. There's always a pub tour. You always get some good beer and brats. But then again, you're fed like royalty on the Viking cruise. Don't eat. Don't don't get off the ship and eat. No, no. Just walk around and work off what you ate already. Get ready for your next three-hour dinner. Oh, man. Tracy Dunlop, that's one of my favorite memories about traveling in Europe. Continental breakfast. And all those good pastries, bread, and rolls. They know what they're doing over there. Absolutely. Wendy Thompson, the one bar had, um, uh, what is this here? Deft tiles all over the walls. Deft tiles all over the walls. Hmm. Bonnie, uh, like father didn't like father didn't show the bun making machines. It didn't, did it? No, it didn't do that. The movie, like father, they didn't go down below the decks. No. <laughs> Robert Brent, this cruise I'm on is pretty much all inclusive. Uh, I bet you it is. I'm sure it is. Robert, uh, you're being royally treated there. I'm sure. Mg Toe, um, in, uh, Norwegian wants to charge for main dining room meals now. Uh, buffet still free. Uh, I won't travel. NCL. Uh, it'll be interesting, Mg, to see how this plays out. Uh, whether this they go through with it uh, cruise wide, or whether just going to have surcharges for certain meals on the main dining room, we'll have to find out. Bonnie. Uh, they used to let the passengers walk through the midnight buffet at 11.30 to take photos. That's right. You go through a half an hour early. You couldn't eat anything because they have ropes, uh, you know, about four feet away. But you could take photos of the midnight buffet and then get in line and get ready to eat. <laughs> That's true. Those are days that are gone. Uh, they don't do that much anymore. Tracy Dunlap. Oh, uh, Wendy Thompson. I love Del Delph. Collect it all started with four KLM canal houses. Now I have so much more. These two are talking about something. I don't know what they're talking about, but there's something interesting here. They're talking about, love this. Elisa Taylor uh, Venice's, uh, hi Lisa, day three on Oasis. I am seated right now in the main dining room. Lunch was great in the main dining room. Not many people know to eat the main dining room for lunch. You are right. You are absolutely right. Uh, Lisa, thank you for joining the show and telling us you got it. Uh, and I don't, you can, you can also eat breakfast too. Can you at the main dining room? I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but can you eat breakfast as well? But lunch, no one's there. You're, you got it all to yourself. Oh, it's so good. Fantastic. Lisa, what are you having for dinner tonight? Tell us from the future is here. Bruce, how old were you when you took your first cruise? Um, 1959, I was four, 1962. I was about six or seven. And then in uh, 2008, 
I took my first actual cruise uh, with Holland America. So that's 10 years ago, 52, 52 years of age. Uh, there was a bit of a gap between the uh, ocean cruise and the uh, Holland America cruise for sure. And Jordan, haven't seen a midnight buffet for a while. Bonnie, they're still around. I don't know if there's a midnight buffet around anywhere anymore. Robert Brandt uh, at MG Toe, I think that sadly could be the future to get everyone to board cheap, then leave with a huge credit card bill. Could be the way. Uh, kind of like airlines, you know, you want to, you want a sandwich now on an airline, eight bucks, uh, a little sandwich in a bag, 10 bucks, ridiculous. Wendy Thompson, Tracy, I do, um, two half tiles houses, flower frogs and much more still have not unpacked the deft boxes. Oh man, there's something there. Bonnie and Jordan, I don't think so. Some cruise lines do a barbecue buffet on the Lido deck. At 11 o'clock at night, a little barbecue up there. Interesting. Uh, Wendy Thompson, we went to Def Netherlands. Wow. And Jordan, <clears throat> wow. Lisa Taylor, welcome. I agree with you. Lunch in the main dining room, they're awesome. I, I go quite regularly. Love it. And Jordan, you can you can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the main dining room. It's great from Ann Jordan from the future. Yes, we can eat breakfast in the main dining room on Royal Caribbean. I recommend it if you want to stay away from the crowds. Just the two of you, uh, you get the service, service, service. Uh, only in dinner time is it busy. Lunch and dinner, not so busy. Pretty darn way to, nice way to go. Richard C. M. G. Toe, when uh, when in Rome, put in the uh, put it put it in the put it on the charge account. You're on vacation. <laughs> Enjoy. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see how these uh, cruise lines um, evolve. Will Norwegian eventually? go with everything extra. Uh, they'll have the base fare, just like on airlines, you get the base. Then the airline says, oh, you want to bring on a suitcase, 25 bucks, 35 bucks. Oh, you want to bring a carry-on, 25, $35. Oh, you want a uh, lunch? Here's a menu, eight, 10, 12 bucks or pre-order. Um, you want a blanket? More. You want a pillow? More. I don't know. Is that what's going to happen on cruise ships? So they're going to say uh, base fare, $3.99. You want to eat in the main dining room, 10 bucks flat flat fee every day main dining room. You want to eat in the buffet, five bucks a day or free. You want to eat uh, in a specialty restaurant, uh, Italian, 10 bucks. You want to eat in the Asian, 15 bucks. You want to eat in the steakhouse, 50 bucks. You want to eat in the French bistro, 100 bucks. I don't know. It could go that way. Uh, on the other hand, they might say to you, uh, hey, welcome to Norwegian Cruise Lines. You want to be in the Haven? All included. No extra charge, nothing. It's all inclusive. You want to be in a balcony suite, spa suite? Uh, it's all included, including the main dining room, the buffet, but uh, these extra restaurants, you can buy a four special restaurant package deal. 100 bucks each covers the whole deal. Enjoy. They may be going down that road. Extra, extra, extras. You choose the ones you want. Choose the ones you don't. Change your mind once you're on the ship. Pay extra. More than with, than if you'd have booked it before the cruise, that might be the future of cruising. They got to raise their money. These are publicly traded companies. They report to their bankers every 12, 13 weeks. They have to show improvement on the bottom line. This might be the way they're going. I don't know. Richard C is saying that's the way it is. A uh, Robert Brandt could be like a hotel fee, then all plus 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 plus. It could well be Robert. You could be right. Reggie and man, I'll eat. In the port, I love to try new cuisine. There you go. Tracy Dunlap, a deft is the blue white pieces made in Holland. KLM Airlines used to give a canal house away in business class with alcohol in them. Some of mine are still filled. Ooh, all right, very interesting. Robert Brandt, if you enjoy fine dining, so far I would say Viking is delivering beyond our expectations on fine dining. Isn't that great? I've heard, I've heard how great it is. We're getting it firsthand right here. He's there. And Jordan, wow, MG Toe. I didn't know NCL is now uh, charging for dinner in the main dining room. Again, I don't know if that's cruise-wide or if that's proposed. It could be. Uh, it might be coming. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised down the road. Some of these lines might play that game. Bonnie is saying, I'll be packing my P and B and J sandwiches, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches uh, to go on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the values are there. You know, one cruise line might try it, and it doesn't work. Everyone goes back. 
Two cruise lines might try it. One cruise line may not, and then they'll promote the bejesus to all of us saying, we don't charge extra. You get this, 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 and this. They charge you extra. The war will be on. We'll have to see how this plays out. Well, you never know. Uh, and uh, MG Toe is saying, and they're talking about it on Cruise Critic. Too much nickel and diming going on. Tracy Dunlop at Robert Brandt. Do you have to dress every night on biking? Um, let's find out. Uh, Robert, you have to get all dressed up for dinner or can you be casual? What's the deal? Uh, let's see here. Paul Wilgus and Jordan, um, uh, they aren't, but there are rumors going around that they might. This is, again, the, the Norwegian Cruise Line main dining room surcharge story. Is this going to happen or not? It's been flying around lately. Bonnie uh, at Robert, uh, Robert, Robert Brandt, are you on the cruise to the Norwegian? And then I think she may have retracted the story. I'm not sure what's going on. Robert Brandt, Tracy Dunlop, it's a little dressier, but not formal. So maybe a jacket, no tie, maybe slacks with a nice shirt, uh, but not too formal. Eh, might be all right. Uh, Hall in America, uh, Wendy's saying, Hall in America, Hall in America has deft in the gift shop. Some of mine are full, unopened as well. Robert Brandt, we are on the Modi, is what he is saying. We're on the Modi. Okay. Uh, I know that he's headed, by, I believe it's Amsterdam to Budapest. Is that the route? I think that's where he's taking fantastic cruise the food is going to be great oh man you're gonna to have to walk it off during the day tomorrow cologne start walking tomorrow in cologne there's lots to walk and see in cologne oh there will be you'll have no trouble uh killing some calories uh doing that that will be fantastic hopefully it won't be too hot for you on the land uh because of the heat in europe this last a couple of weeks if not the last month or so it has been very very hot by the way by the way everyone cheers from traveling with bruce uh brown fuzzy water mm. Tasty. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, Robert Brandt. Our sons decided to eat uh, at their own table. <laughs> We're getting away from mom and dad. Uh, Robert Brandt. Yes, Amsterdam to Budapest. Amsterdam to Budapest. Fantastic cruise. What an itinerary. What stops. Incredible. You're going to be in Vienna. You'll do Vienna as well. My God, Vienna. Fantastic. This is awesome stuff. Fantastic cruise. How are we doing for thumbs ups? Uh, so far, 28 thumbs ups today. This is fantastic. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the thumbs ups already. 33 watching right now. I think we hit a high of 45 today. This is great stuff. Folks are catching the show. That's wonderful. I love it. Uh, tonight, we're on with trivia. I'm ready to go. I've got trivia questions here. Uh, oh, I got some Hollywood tonight. I got some Hollywood trivia. Oh, the future. Talking about the future. I've got a trivia question about the future. And, oh, I've got something about uh, oh, another topic. I can't even tell you the topic. If I tell you, you'll, you'll start Googling, and you won't, I won't allow you to do that. No cheating on this one. Uh, <clears throat> um, Robert Brandt saying two days in Vienna. Oh, that'll be fantastic. Man, that's going to be awesome. Bonnie Berkstein, Robert Brandt, she's going thumbs up. And Jordan, thanks, Paul Wilkes. Yes, uh, this is a great cruise, and I'm looking forward to photos coming on to the uh, uh, Facebook group page. Uh, fantastic. One dinner in Vienna is at some palace and not aboard the ship. Oh, man, Robert, you're going to be spoiled rotten. That one will be something. You're going to have to get some photos of that. Uh, Renji and her man, is it Back to the Future? Uh, no, the, the the quiz is not about Back to the Future, but I do have a quiz about the future, and uh, this one, I found this one fascinating when I put it together. MG Toe, go to the Fine Arts Museum in Vienna, as well as the Lipstein Stallions. So Lipstein Stallions, oh, that'll be something. Bonnie Bergstein at Robert Brandt. Emma at Cruising isn't just for old people, just got off the Viking cruise. That's right, Bonnie, uh, she did. She just got off a Viking cruise, and she's spoiled rotten, totally spoiled rotten. She was in Bergen uh, in Norway. She, she had did an ocean cruise, and she was just wowed by it, blown away by everything all-inclusive. She was impressed. We'll see some videos coming from her. And she also was in my video, the collaboration video I did about two weeks ago. And Jordan at Robert Brandt, is that uh, my mom's bucket list trip? Uh, you're so lucky. <laughs> He's on her mom's bucket list cruise. Robert, I'll send plenty of pics uh, until you say stop. Fantastic, Robert. Thank you. My wife is from Prague um, and knows Vienna very well, he says. Oh, man, if you got it good, uh, Van Robert, you got it really good. Fantastic. You're going to have a fantastic time. Be blown away with what you're going to see there. That is awesome stuff. Fantastic. All right. There you go. What a show. Um, guys, thank you for joining me today. We've had a really good crowd here today. A whole bunch of YouTube channels popped in. 
to say hi to me. I appreciate that very much. Uh, I wish all of their uh, channels uh, great success as they continue to grow like we are here. And thank you, newbies, for finding me today. We had people coming in today that uh, from California, from Ireland, uh, from all over the place. This is beautiful. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to try. Robert Brent, I'm going to try and stay awake for trivia. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, and Jordan saying, I was in Vienna in 2017. Last Mediterranean trip. Love Vienna. Uh, Robert Brent, if not, I'll talk to you all soon. Robert, uh, hang in there. Thanks again for your donation to my channel today. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, if I don't see you later on trivia, we'll talk to you tomorrow for sure. Uh, Debbie Manuel, yay. Had a great day with the newbies. Wonderful. Thank you, Debbie. I know you were uh, sneaking the show while at the office. Uh, couldn't comment much. I know you'll be around for trivia probably later. Thank you for joining me today and as always for your support. Love it. Guys, uh, I'm on in, uh, what is that? Uh, it's now 6.13 Eastern time. I'm on in an hour and 47 minutes from now with my trivia show at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Join me at 8 o'clock Eastern for trivia, and uh, let's see how much fun we can have tonight and see how many of you guys can join in. Uh, Debbie Singh, back in a few hours for trivia. People getting out of work early to make it home for trivia. <laughs> Get out of the way. I'm going home to see Bruce on trivia. I love it. Thank you, guys, uh, and thank you for all your support for Traveling with Bruce Merchandise. Direct contributions, super chat contributions today. Oh, my gosh, we got one today from uh, – from Bonnie, thank you again, Bonnie, for your contribution to my uh, channel on uh, on Super Chat. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for direct contributions through my channel at uh, at PayPal uh, through my donation link. I love you guys for that. And uh, again, those of you who are trying to help me out through uh, uh, the affiliate link on um, Amazon uh, through that uh, as well. Thanks again. All right, I'm done for this afternoon. I'll catch you tonight on Trivia Tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 in the afternoon or 5 in the evening Eastern time for my next show. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thank you for joining me August the 7th, 2018 for the 5 o'clock show. I'll catch you later tonight. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. See ya.